Personally, I think it's a little bit funny, you know, because he's calling us terrorists, yet we have six-year-old kids out here playing hockey. We have four or five bouncy castles during the weekend with uh, hundreds of kids playing around in bouncy castles. I mean, if that's a terrorist, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are a lot worse off, you know, so. Worse than, uh, some honking and some noise. Well, I think it's uh, disgusting for any leader of a country to vilify people for exercising their democratic right, their right to protest, their right to demonstrate peacefully. I think it's terrible. No, I think it's uh, he's just really making a mockery out of himself more than anybody else. His people have eyes. What he's portrayed as this, that's not where we're going, right? We're here, I've seen lots of kids around, which is not caused no problems, right? It's, it's totally awful. So he's a racist himself, right? There's no racism going on here. He said many times publicly that he supports peaceful protest, uh, but except I guess when it disagrees with what he believes or what narrative that he wants people to follow. As my brother-in-law said, he needs to be a man and step up and just come out and talk to us. That's all we're asking. We're not trying to overthrow the government. We're not trying to ruin democracy. We're following democracy. I think he's treating us like a minority would be treated. You can walk around the side of the car and see all the thank you notes from little kids. You know, there's no no racist drawings and no wrong and going. It's, it's like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen coming together across all of Canada.